Hey, 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 this is Pierre Durako talking. I had a good question the other day from a customer. They wanted to understand what will be the new workflow working on documents with Microsoft 365. So I thought I will shoot this video to explain some strategies, some methods. So the first one is to work as usual. You work in your documents, or so here I have my documents, and you can create a new document. So use File Explorer, the new features there, the features in, in, in your File Explorer here. I'm in Windows 11, the, the latest version, but it's the same way with Windows 10. You name your document, AA Demo 2, and you just open your document. What happens here, as you can see, my documents is synced to the cloud, and I will show you how you can do that at the end of the presentation. So now I can type my document, whatever I want. It's pretty simple. I don't have to save my document because it's directly connected to the cloud, so it's synchronized, whatever I do. There's an auto save on. If you turn it off, that then you will have to save it. But if you keep it on by default, you don't have to save, just close your file and it will save you some time and some hassles and you can see that the document is synchronized. It's on my computer, but is it in the cloud? For sure it is. So I can right click on it. If I don't remember where it is stored, I can see uh, see it online or even can share from it or see the version history. And I can have access to the document. It will launch uh, the browser and I can see the document is here. I can add whatever I want here in the cloud. I can see where it's, it is stored. So I can navigate here in my OneDrive because actually it's stored in your OneDrive. And the folder named Documents 1 because probably when I created the backup of my documents in the cloud, I already have a document, a folder called Documents, so you duplicate the name. So here I have um, the document. I can see all my documents in my OneDrive. There's a lot of folders. As you can see, I leverage OneDrive heavily. So that's um, so so if I modify the document in the cloud and I come back on my computer, is it replicated? So that was I think this document. And we'll see of course that it's bi-directional, the document has been synchronized. So you don't have to save, you don't have to worry about where you made the changes, it will be synchronized, even if you're sharing it with other people, that will work. So that's the first place, is to do in the documents, as usual. Uh, I'd rather, my, my way of doing it is, I, I go into the OneDrive on my file share, <coughs> and I will explain why I use the file share rather than the browser. So um, I'm going in my OneDrive, I organize by th th themes. For example, I have a folder called Project where I store all my projects. So here I have this folder and I, I just created a folder for uh, the demonstration. So here I can uh, sort. And what is that's one of the reasons I use it in the File Explorer first because I, I have access to everything here all the OneDrive folders, I can see them here. Even if they're not synchronized on my computer, when you check mark here, it means it's on my computer and obviously also in the cloud. And when it's here, it says it's not taking place on my computer. It's only in the cloud, but I can still navigate the folders and the files. So I must have, I think, a folder for demo here. And so I can, you know, that's how I work. I create a folder for my customers. I create a new document or I copy an, another document so I can show you that I'm going to create a new document for demo. And I can open the document here. And it's going to be exact same thing, so I'm not going to put a lot of things here. I don't have to save, I just close. And it's going to be synchronized in the cloud. So let's see if it's working. I'm going to my OneDrive, see the version online to see if really my document is there. Of course, it's there. 
I can even here open it in the desktop if I want to. Uh, I can navigate from here to the folder so you can see it's a demo folder which is in the project folder of my OneDrive. So bi-directional synchronization, no issue, no problem. Here, you know, the problem is when I sort here um, and I change folder, uh, it doesn't keep my my settings, so uh, that's why. And and the navigation is a little bit harder, you know. I I need to click, click, click. Um, and I think it's more comfortable for me to do it in in on my file explorer. That's why I'm doing this here. Uh, so now, if you that's the first case, you're working on the document just for you, or it's a draft, you're not ready. Uh, but now, what if you want to work in a team? So I have a team here uh, with a folder um, and some documents already. And if I want to create a document here, I can start directly here. I don't have to go through my OneDrive. Let's demo again. I create my document. The only thing here is, so uh, it's uh, my team is uh, set up as Every time I open a document, launch the application, the desktop application, you can set it up so it can launch. So I, same thing, I don't have to, to save it. So you can you can say eventually you can say I, I don't want to open it in in a in a desktop. I want to open it in in a. You see here the app is a default, but I can say I want to edit the in Teams, or you can change the default. If you want to default to open in Teams, you can change it here. So here you can, same document, you can see it in uh, in Teams directly. Uh, there, there are less features, but it's still uh, okay to work like that. Uh, you can also open it in the browser. So, so that's, you know, you're losing some context sometimes. Oops, I even changed, uh, where am I? <laughs> I swear I must have clicked somewhere. I shouldn't have clicked. So let's go back to my channel in my team. Let's go back to my document. So you see here, I have to f uh, say newer. And if I go back to post and I do again the files, I lost the sort. So how do you do to maintain this in the file explorer? So you just have to click on sync here. And that's how read already done that and it's um, you have a folder with the name of your organization here that's where I synchronize all my team's folders which are actually folders uh, in SharePoint because behind teams are SharePoint so I can see my folder here and I can see my my document let's demo again and um, again whatever I do on my computer, it will be synchronized in the cloud without me doing anything, with not even saving the document. And so now if I go back to the team, you'll see that I can open it in, for example, in Teams. I will see the change. Everything is maintained, synchronized both ways. So the benefit of uh, doing this in the File Explorer for me is really, it's a more, um, I, I guess I'm more comfortable with this experience, but what I like is I can sort and, and then the, the filter, the my my, my sorting is, is, is kept. Uh, if I change a window and come back on, a, on, a, on this window, for example, if I go there and uh, I go back there, and I go back there, I think it's, a, it's still sort of the same way, which is not the case in Teams. And if you're afraid that it will take a lot of place on your computer, it's not, because as you can see, only the, f the documents I open are on my computer. And you see so the check mark when it's on my computer. There's a cloud icon when it's not on my computer, but I can still see them and open the document. So also, uh, to move documents around, so that happens for me. Um, I, for example, I have 
uh, files from one project I want to reuse in another project I just have to open the two folders uh, let me put them side by side uh, so uh, let's go in uh, one folder whatever it is uh, I want to take this one and I want to copy it so I drag and drop copy and now I have the, the file here. Uh, so if the if the file is already on my computer, you know, it just it's just copy or if I can move it also, and it will be synchronized also in the class. We can look in the team, can close this, and see that this should be a new document now. Um, so let's store it, and uh, there's a new document here. So, uh, moving files is easier for that reason in Windows Explorer. But you can, you can, um, especially when you have a large file. If I have a large video, let's see if I have a large video somewhere that is not on my computer. So you see, I have a lot of videos. Uh, so. This one is large, the first one is 300 megabyte. Uh, it's on my computer. Let's let's find an, one that is not on my computer. So th that's this one is not on my computer, it's 100 megabyte. So moving this here to here, that will force, I can show you, that will force it to download the file first. So you see, it down it's downloading the file because it's not on my computer actually, it doesn't take place on my computer. And then it moves it here, and then it uploads it to the cloud. So, and it's not there yet in the cloud because it has to move it back to the cloud. So that might not be the best way to move files when they're large. So when you have large files that are not on your computer, uh, they're in your Teams or OneDrive, you might want to do it another way. So the other way is to move it from the browser. So how do you do that? So to do that, so, for example, um, let's go into my OneDrive. So, let's find the, where is that? Camera roll. Now the thing is, even if I can c create quick access, uh, it's, it's easier to do it in Windows, the File Explorer. Uh, let's see if I can find my camera roll. So I think it's in pictures. This should be a folder of camera roll. And so let's take a big one here. And so when you select your file, you'll see some features here and you see a, a feature called move or copy and you have access to those features here also so i'm going to copy this file here and i'm going to decide where i'm going to copy it so here i'm going to copy it in my demo environment so uh, in the demo youtube channel and i'm going to copy here and now it's done you know it's from from it's in the cloud and I can see now on my computer, if I go back to my demo, it is here. But as you can see, it's not synchronized. So eventually, if I need to open it, I can click on it, and it will download the whatever size it was directly to my computer. So that's how you decide how you get organized working on documents. I think the main thing to remember is there are several ways. Either you start from the browser or you use uh, the File Explorer. To use the File Explorer, you need to sync. And there's some exceptions when you have to move big files around. you rather go through the browser. But other than that, I think it's way more comfortable to work uh, in the File Explorer because you're used to it and it's pre you find all the features that you usually know and use for decades. So it's better to use the File Explorer and don't forget to sync your, your files. And last, last thing, um, 
when you're working on a, a document that is shared, uh, let me take one document, for example, this one. If you delete it, what happens here? That was one question. It's deleted for everybody because it's in the team. So the team is shared with other people. So you might think I deleted it for me because it's on my computer, but no, you deleted it for the team. So you need to realize that uh, when deleting a file that is shared with other people, either on your OneDrive or uh, in Teams for sure, your OneDrive you might not have shared your OneDrive with other people, then it's deleted for everybody who has access to the team. So if you want to, so sometimes I don't know why here it's not showing, or maybe it's showing. Uh, let me see if there's a window here. Yeah, it's showing. So it, it uh, Microsoft knows that uh, that's a pattern where people are uh, often making mistakes. So it tells you, hey, we, you deleted this file for everyone. Be aware of that, and you can still go because if you didn't realize that it was just for you. Uh, you can go in the um, in a recycle bin here. It will lead you eventually to the recycle bin, hopefully. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it should go to the recycle bin. Um, but the recycle bin, if you want to find it for a team, you just have to open uh, in SharePoint, and there should be a recycle bin somewhere here, a recycle bin and you shall be able to restore the document that you deleted. It should have launched this directly, I don't know why it didn't do it. And then uh, you shall see it again uh, in your, what was the file again? I don't remember. Uh, let's see if uh, I can see it again. Yeah, it was Teams for Home. And so I shall see it also now in in here, Teams from Home, but now it's in the cloud because I don't I, I didn't open it on my computer. So there's always a way to uh, recover, restore your documents that you deleted. One thing to know is sometimes you s you might you might have the document because you downloaded it, you open it, so it's on a computer. So you might you might have your document uh, on your computer, and you might say, I, "Okay, I understand. I don't want to delete it for everybody, but I don't want it on my computer." So you just have to right-click on it and free the space for this document. So it's going to be released from your computer. It won't take place on your computer, and now it's 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 still in the cloud. So if you go in the cloud, you still have it here in Teams. So that's really how you should work with uh, documents. I think at least that's how I work. I mostly work on my um, computer on in the File Explorer by synchronizing my OneDrive and, and the Teams folders and working directly in the document uh, from my computer. And sometimes if I need to view them pretty quickly maybe i'm not i'm not going to open them here maybe i'm going to open them directly from the team because i'm in the context i see the post uh, and i can switch directly to the to the file if it ne if needed even you know it's it's when consulting a document i might do that or even sometimes i, I will just open the document because you can open the document in a team directly here and open it in the application, so I don't have to go in my file explorer. So it it will depends on the situation, but the file explorer is definitely an experience that will help your users uh, to ad ad adopt the the Teams of OneDrive because they won't change a lot their uh, habits, and we know that uh, it can be a hurdle. Hope this was helpful.